Hello there! Finland is one of Europe's least visited countries, even though the population is known for being extremely happy. Well, I will spend one day in the capital Helsinki to find out if it's a hidden gem or not worth a trip. I have an appointment with someone who needs to know all about it. Katrin Deta. I hope I have pronounced the name correctly. She's my guide for today. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm Lucas. Katrin, hi. Nice to meet you. First, Katrin shows me a cafe in Kalio, a former working class district in northeast Helsinki, which is now very trendy. Of course, they also have the cinnamon rolls that are typical of Scandinavia. In Finland, they are called karvapusti. You're from Luxembourg? Yes. So why are you in Finland? I came for exchange almost 14 years ago and I'm still here. You came here once and then you stayed here? Yes, pretty much. What's so special about Finland that you left Luxembourg behind? I really identify with the Finnish lifestyle and the, the trust and support that's in society here. You can really be the person that you want to be. We're close to nature and uh, I'm not very good with heat, so the Nordics seemed like the right choice for me. I'm a winter soul, so I'm very happy here. You should definitely check out the Odi Library in the center of Helsinki, which opened in 2018. The architecture is reminiscent of waves or a ship. It looks spectacular. And it's open to the public. So we are in the Odi Library here, and like I told you, it's not just a library for books, but for everything you can think of. So uh, this was also created in collaboration with the citizens to really figure out what people might need. We have the urban lab here with laser cutters, 3D printers, there's sewing machines, large format printers. And I can use everything? You can use everything for free, yeah. but you have to reserve it beforehand. Okay. And you have to pay for the material cost, for example, if you use the printer. All right. And in the back we also have gaming studios and uh, kitchen, recording studios, you can borrow instruments here. Okay, maybe this is the next big thing from Maybe, Finland? and then you saw them first. <laughs> this is a actual library for me. It is. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful space. I really love that they kept it open. Also the shelves are not super high to leave it breathy and airy. You can see people really come here to work, um, to read. One of my favorite features here is that the ceiling actually absorbs sound. So the acoustics here are always really amazing, so you can tell. We're having a completely normal conversation, yeah. but we're not disturbing anyone. And you can have a kid's group practicing something over there and people studying here on this side and nobody gets in each other's In a way. library. In a library. <laughs> From the terrace, you have a great view of the city, such as the Parliament building opposite and the contemporary art museum Kiasma. The next stop on my must-see list is the old market hall at the harbor. Here you will find typical products, from elk meat and cranberries to fresh fish. As a vegetarian, I find the variety of honey more appealing. What's the best uh, Finnish honey you have? There's many different kinds of honey. My personal favorite is the blueberry flower honey. Mentselen, metse, hunaya. Very good. Okay, so that's the best one? I like that. Okay, uh, one, one of those uh, glasses, please. Uh, how much is it? 14. 14 euros. That's quite expensive, even for a good honey. Many products here are more expensive than in Germany. Finland is also famous for its design, both in clothing, with colorful designers like Marimekko, as well as its minimalistic interior design, which you can see in shops and cafes. There is more to Scandinavian interior design than IKEA. Okay, welcome to Artek, another very famous Finnish design brand. And for example, a simple thing like this stool, it's an iconic piece of Finnish design. Um, this is a very particular way how the wood was bent, for example, and this is a design that will also last you 
90 years, like this is celebrating its 90 year design birthday this year. It's a famous store. It is, would you like to have a seat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good stool. Yes. It is. <laughs> do you have it at home? I do actually. Oh, all right. A stool by Alvar Alto costs 260 euros. It's not a status symbol. A design here is not considered a luxury. Design or good design is part of how life should be. And that's why something like this is found in many people's homes and not considered a status symbol at all. Don't miss out on the Esplanade, a small park and popular promenade in the middle of the city. And no visit is complete without seeing the Helsinki Cathedral, the city's most prominent landmark. Later, we enjoy the city's view from the water. Ferries are also part of the public transport. Some districts are located on islands. Ferries connect the city center with more distant parts of the city. The Finns are the happiest people in the world. <laughs> For the sixth year in a row. Yeah, all right, so uh, why is that? Um, Finns are very content people and they can appreciate the little things. I think that's something that really contributes to that here in Finland. Uh, things work even in the depth of winter, which is something that I think the Finns don't take for granted. <laughs> um, we have beautiful seasons, uh, we have a safe environment, we have great trust in society and the government. It all plays into how content you feel. Maybe it's easier to be happy when you have more space. Finland is almost as big as Germany, but has just 5.5 million inhabitants in comparison to Germany that has 84 million. Saunas, which are available basically everywhere, also contribute to the well-being of the Finns, as Katrin tells me. All right, we are now at Alla Seapool because you can't leave Finland without having been to sauna. There you go. Okay. You can go for a little swim in the cold water to yeah. do it properly. <laughs> and the sauna for Finns is really important. It's not just a cliche. Uh, everyone here has access to a sauna, either in their building or even in their apartment or these kind of public saunas. Um, it's really an integral part of Finnish lifestyle and uh, it comes from back in the day. It's, it's like when you say, I take a shower, people used to say, I will go to sauna. So it's about bathing, cleansing, right. but it's also uh, good for your mind. It's really a place to relax and people here talk in the sauna. That might surprise you. All right. So I just got to go. <laughs> Absolutely. Ala Sea Pool is a public swimming pool with sauna right in the port of Helsinki. It's getting hot in here. Did you know that in Germany, in general, we go to the sauna nude? Here, it's different. <laughs> Thank you, bye bye. That's gotta be cold. Ah. <laughs> this is not gonna happen. I'll go to the other pool. <laughs> Nine degrees Celsius. It's as cold as the Baltic Sea. But fortunately, there are also heated swimming pools. 27 degrees Celsius. That's warm enough for a few relaxed laps with a view. Midsummer in Helsinki is definitely a plus. The days are very long. It's almost 11 p.m. and there is still light. My day in the Finnish capital culminates at the Riff, a heavy metal rock bar. Also, alcohol is more expensive here than in other parts of Europe because of high taxes. Seven euro fifty cents. That's not that cheap. But it's good. I think Helsinki is definitely worth a trip, especially in the summer. The people are super friendly, you can walk almost everywhere and the days are incredibly long. I just love that. Unfortunately, the city is relatively expensive, so I recommend a short trip and you won't regret it. <laughs>